This episode was brought to you by Tripwire. Hey security fans, today we're looking at incident response. Now, an important part of security is incident response, or more accurately, timely and appropriate incident response. I mean, imagine calling the police and they didn't turn up on time. That's probably a bad example, but you know what I mean. You go to a restaurant, you order your food and a chef doesn't make it on time. That's an incident. Incident management works in the same way normally all the time. Your sensors are out there and they catch a whiff or something dodgy that doesn't smell quite right. So you investigate it a bit. Now, it's important not to overreact. Oh, Lordy Lord, no! You need to get to the root cause of the problem and get it sorted out in a calm and professional manner. If you do all of this, you'll, you'll stop the incident before it ferments and causes nappy rash and turns into a complete disaster. In production environments for large organisations, sniffing out the bad smells, the incidents, isn't really as easy, which is why it's important that you really look at your detection controls. Are they in place? Are they good? And more importantly, is anyone even paying any attention to it? Secondly, it's important to have a plan in place and know how you're going to react. We, we've all heard people saying, yes, we've got a plan, we've got a plan, but to paraphrase Mike Tyson, everyone's got an incident response plan until they get an incident. So figure out what your alarm bells are, what is your early detection system, and then secondly, make sure someone knows how to respond to that detection system without getting flustered, without overreacting, without calling a chicken little incident even, because that's the last thing anyone wants. Yeah, chicken little. Things got really heavy there. Stay secure, my friends.